Hello and welcome to episode 74 of AFC Filed Still We Rise, here on YouTube and Football Manager 2020. It's the last proper edition of the series, and something very curious has happened. The last time you were hopefully with us was for the boring nil-nil draw at Ewood Park. The only filed highlight of the game, considering we didn't have a shot in the highlights, was Brian Fearbeamer's red card. That meant he was suspended for the next two games. The next game was against Swansea, and it was the nightmare game we as football managers all fear and dread. Three injuries in the first half saw Tom Walker, Liam Bridcut, and Luke Burke all need to be replaced. Then early in the second half, with the score at 2-2, thanks to Javan Malcolm and Barry Douglas, Alex Whitmore got himself sent off. And Swansea, led by Ibir Eze and Lanzini, tore us to pieces. Ryan Cassidy with a couple of late ones, as did George Puskas, got on the score sheet in the 89th minute. We then had to rebuild ourselves with a bit of a mismatch lineup against Sheffield Wednesday, the first of our two final games to take place at Mill Farm to end the season. In this one, I honestly thought that it was game over for the playoffs. Preston on this day won against Cardiff uh, and narrowed the gap to us in the championship. If we look at the highlights here, Neil Ennis, uh, Niall Ennis, put Sheffield Wednesday ahead and that then left us with pretty much no chance of making the playoffs. We thought that Preston were going to overcome us. This is Niall Ennis's goal. It's a great save by Mitch Walker. He was a superstar for us yet again but this is the goal deep into extra time scored by Tom Walker. A free kick. Walker who's been with us since the National League days. The final day of the season, we played against Blackpool, our local rivals, and we were 2-0 up between, uh, before half-time, 2 up even before the half-hour, with Paul Gallagher's penalty and Josh Humphreys, our lone striker from Liverpool. Now, in that game, I had to rest the likes of Saul Shotton because he is one yellow card away from a suspension. So we were pretty lucky to take all three points and it just meant that along with Preston's failure to capitalise, we are in the playoffs. Preston could only manage a 2-2 draw with Brentford, that win over Cardiff and then a draw with Swansea on the final day, which meant that they couldn't catch us and we ended the championship season in sixth place. Crystal Palace, West Brom and Swansea are the other clubs in the playoffs. Aston Villa and Norwich narrowly automatically promoted. Villa with 89 points, Norwich with 88, Palace with 87. Very tight at the top and as you can see, a five point gap to Preston in seventh for ourselves. At the bottom of the table, Blackpool's relegation was confirmed before we played them on the final day. Cardiff and Hull have also dropped down. To League One. Blackburn, when we did play them in the last game, uh, they were safe also. That has meant that the playoffs have started and Swansea have knocked out West Brom already. A 5 0 aggregate scoreline, 3 0 uh, back in Wales, and then 2 0 at the Hawthorns. But we have suddenly done very well because in the first leg of our playoff, we won at Mill Farm because we're the sixth place team. Therefore, we play at home first against the third place side, in this case, Crystal Palace, who really should have been promoted automatically. They've been up there all season long and only fell apart in the final few weeks. Diego Rolam equalised for Brian Fiabima early on in the first 10 minutes. And then it was Fiabima on 56 minutes that gave us the lead. Ideally, you don't want to concede in the first leg of a playoff. We did nothing much we can do about it now, but we did come away with a win. Spoiler alert, that is not going to happen at Selhurst Park in the second leg. This is the last game of the series 
and I think we're going to get knocked out. It's been a good run. What can I say? We've got through from the National League all the way up through League 2, League 1, and now in the Championship playoffs, we've got some fantastic players in the squad, the likes of Cesc Fabregas and Saul Schotten. Fia Beamer and De Groot on the wings. They have been absolute heroes for us this season. Into our final game, we're going to play pretty much our strongest team. This is the one that we all have kind of become familiar with now. I have had to rely on some loan signings, and I know that uh, some people sort of look down on that in the football manager community, but needs really have uh, dictated the fact that we, uh, we've had to bring those in. We just couldn't find anybody to play on the wings, and therefore we were struggling at the start of the season. Kenneth de Groot came in from Manchester United on the left, and on the right we have Brian Fiabima from Chelsea. Now those two are our top scorers this season. Josh Humphreys is up front, he appeared in, I think it was January from Liverpool. We've got Cesc Fabregas in here alongside Tom, uh, Paul Gallagher. Gallagher's done fantastic for us and kept Tom Walker pretty much out of the team. George Marsh is our defensive midfielder at the moment, purely because Adam Lewis is injured. The experience of Barry Douglas has been something that's come through in the last few weeks. Shotton, Whitmore and Luke Burke at the back. Burke is another one that's been with us since the very beginning. And then Mitch Walker in goal. He has been something of a hero for us all season long. On the bench, we've got Rocco Reese, our backup goalkeeper. Giovanni Dos Santos, who was flattered to deceive. Jovan Malcolm, probably deserves a place in the side. Tommy Elphick, club captain. Jan Songo, he's come back in in, in recent weeks, played really well. Tyrone Williams can cover right across the defence. And David Ball as our backup striker. I am tempted to leave out Tyrone Williams. Williams or Jan Songo? I'm going to leave out both. The fact that Adam Lewis is capable of coming onto the bench makes me think that he should be involved. Tom Walker, a bit of a fitness concern. I'm bringing him in. There's no room for sentiment in football, but I am displaying it right now. Moise Keane is doubtful with a hip injury. I wonder if he'll play. Liam Bridcutt is also doubtful for us. He won't play. Uh, certainly not. Palace are one to two favourites to win this. I mean, there's not a chance we are overcoming Palace, uh, the Eagles at Selhurst Park, are we? Willie Sadniol is the manager these days. This could be another hammering. It could be another 7-2. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'll be watching it with my fingers crossed and possibly somewhere behind the couch. Because this is pretty much what the entire final season uh, is relying on. We've done so well to play against, press against the big boys. We've uh, played a lot of them this season, and we've done pretty well. Keane is not featured in the squad for Palace. Craig Short says to do this for the fans. No particular reaction. Nothing makes me more angry than players ignoring the fans. How are you approaching the task of keeping the Skybet Championship's leading goal scorers quiet? We've got Matthew Jones from the Football League paper approaching me in the tunnel. Don't know how he's got down there. I, we're just going to approach it as we do. I trust my players. I trust them. I mean, they, they're they not going to believe that. Saul Shot has been rock solid, yeah, but he has, uh, he has missed out on the last few games. Yeah, I certainly hope he can uh, keep that going. You've left out Alan Lewis out. He can't start due to his injury. There's no way. And here we go. As you can see, both teams in the huddle. File breakout first. And it's time to just encourage our boys. They do have some good players at Crystal Palace. Harrison, Chalabar. Robinson, they're all decent guys. Rodan De Silva, 
but here's Alex Whitmore. Now what tends to happen is the highlights that start with us having the ball don't seem to end it, uh, I've noticed in recent weeks. So it'll be a good effort if we can get a shot off here. Fabregas wide to Fia Bima. It's Humphreys who goes close. Great effort there by, I think it was uh, McCrory, the goalkeeper, to make the block. As Burke and Whitmore now pick up two bookings in quick succession. That pretty much says that Palace are going to enjoy the lion's share of efforts on target. As soon as we struggle, that's what it sort of means. As De Groot, I think De Groot and Fia Bima are going to be key for us. If we're going to get anything from this game, our forward three really do need to show up. It's the playoff semi-final, Selhurst Park. Imagine AFC filed fans, the coasters, making the trip down to London for this big game. Of course, in real life, they're playing in the National League North as Gallagher whips in a free kick. And it's the opening goal by Alex Whitmore. That wasn't supposed to happen. That wasn't expected to happen. Whitmore scored. His first of the season, and he saves it for the semi-final of the playoffs. Alex Whitmore putting filed ahead. The coasters. Are we, are we on course for the playoff final? I mean, we're not going to win the playoff final because it's against Swansea, and Swansea pretty much tear us a new one every time we play them. We're actually might do it. I, this game. This was supposed always supposed to be the last episode. Episode 74 was where it was going to end. I was going to do one more just to round everything off. Talk about what, I've, what we've learnt during the save. How AFC filed have progressed. And as it stands. We've matched Crystal Palace's away goal. I didn't expect this to happen. Uh, I don't know what to do now. I'm sort of tempted to take Alex Whitmore off. Because he's on a booking. If anybody can tell the nerves in my voice, there's a good reason for it. Oh, Elphick, I don't... Uh, yeah. I, recently, this has been akin to going downstairs into the basement to check on that awful noise. As now Palace are getting the bookings. And they've made a change up front, bringing on Stuart Lysett. Have, have we turned this round? Are Palace nervous? Are they as nervous as me? De Groot gets his 12th of the season. Well, forwards challenge, I would imagine. It's, it's a very even game, and there's Saul Shotton with his 15th. I mean, I'm hoping that doesn't rule him out of the final. As there's the goal. Michael Alisi for Crystal Palace. Suddenly, they are within a goal of us. We won the first leg 2-1. It's now 1-1 in the second leg at Selhurst Park. Are we going to throw this away? Oh, see, this is... It's a highlight for Palace. This isn't good. Elise is through. He's through on goal. And there it is. We are all square. Oh, do you remember that moment when I thought that we might actually do this? I missed that moment. But normal service has been resumed. Tommy Elphick not able to... Oh, Mitch Walker's done so well for us this season. So well. And that was an awful attempt to make the stop. But it's now 2-1, which means it's 3-3 on aggregate. Next goal wins. There we go. Ask the question, get an answer straight away. Robinson inside to lice it. Oh, he didn't score. It's back to Travis. All we need is one chance. One chance for Fia Beamer or De Groot. Maybe even Humphreys. Or Fabregas. Or Gallagher, actually. Mitch Walker takes the uh, kick here. And is that Lyser off? It's a straight red for Stuart Lyser. Uh, we're just going to pause things. This is the most cruel thing ever. To dangle it in front of my very face. Now. I've got to be careful here. I want to bring on Lewis. And I want to bring on Walker. But they're both not fit. 20 minutes though. 
I did want to bring on Jovan Malcolm if we need to. Right, this is the plan. Malcolm's on. Lewis is on for Marsh. If we get through to extra time, Fabregas or Gallagher is off for Walker. Let's see if an injection of energy can help. As Palace still lead in terms of shots, it's now 17 to 10. They've used up two of their substitutions. They've kept one back, and oh, now we've lost to Groot. Oh no. This is what happens when you've made all three substitutions. We've got to wait until extra time, haven't we? Before we can do anything. So it's now, it's 10-10. How are they playing? They're playing narrow. We're playing wide. Okay. Matty Cash picks up his fourth booking of the season. There's six minutes of extra time. We're still in this. Amazingly. We've got to get to extra time to make that change. Here we go. We're there. Will it let me do it? Are we allowed to make the change now? No, why not? Why are we not allowed? Surely we can make the change now. Oh, is it because he's already been forced off? Oh, no. I've got to do it. Their efforts have been excellent. That's a sea of green. Why would it not let me change him? Okay. Game's broken. That's what's happened there. Oh, God. They're going to beat us an extra time. At least he's going to get a hat-trick. I can see it now. Yeah, he scored two in two minutes to reply to Alex Whitmore's first half headed goal and we're ticking down the seconds here to half time in extra time as Robinson I think was offside there oh, the seconds are just agonizing as Mitch Walker makes another save and this is the goal it's not the goal it hits the upright half time in extra time Okay, everybody, breathe. And away we go for the second half. Barry Douglas with the ball in. Fia Beamer. Did he get clipped? No, but it's a ball downfield to Robinson. The counter's on. It's over. It is all over. Palace popping it around. Oh, it's still not in. And now it is. It's Callum Robinson in the second half of extra time to put Palace three goals to one up. We had to play with ten men due to a broken game. Wouldn't let me replace De Groot. It's 10-10. And Palace have all have been a better side this season. They should have got automatic promotion. The fact that they're going to make the playoff final. I think it's probably the right thing. And, and what a, a playoff final that'll be. Crystal Palace. All right, I don't take the mic. Jesus. Crystal, I'm saying nice things. Crystal Palace versus Swansea City in the championship playoff final. Okay, all right. No need for this, is there? Robinson. He's through again on goal. Shot and away. He's going to come back in, though, through cash. And it's now 4-1. We just ran out of steam. A missed interception by Shotton, apparently the cause of the goal. Not entirely convinced by that. I think it was just good play by, with the overlap by Cash. And Mitch Walker again should have done better. Should I have signed a better goalkeeper? He did come from Aldershot. But there you have it. Look at the, the performance by the Palace boys. They've just put their foot on the gas in the second half of extra time and they've blown us away
is about to end. 33 shots to 14. Palace have deserved it. And it's all over. Crystal Palace are in to the playoff, the championship playoff final. Well done to them. Well done to Willy Sanyol. I'm going to give my team talk. I'm going to tell them that their efforts were excellent. And I'm going to congratulate them with integrity. Dignity slightly still intact, despite thinking that we were actually going to do it at one stage. But there you have it. The journey has come to an end. AFC Files will be in the championship for one more season, at least. We did well. I mean, I'm still bitter that De Groot's injury didn't allow me to replace him at the start of the second half of extra time. I really should have been allowed to do that, I think. I don't even want to attend the press conference. We're going to have to, aren't we? Aggregate defeat. I, I am delighted with the performance. I mean, we did our best. Are we really talking about the referee? I'm not, I'm not going to comment on that one. How dare you? I, I, I don't comment on individual performances as a rule. One of the put. We've made the playoff semi final. No comment. There you have it, everybody. The uh, AFC filed Still We Rise journey is at an end. I will just say, however, that Slav and Bilic did get sacked by Preston. So there you have it. Uh, no longer uh, the boss over at Deepdale. These are our final stats of the season. There'll be one more roundup video on Friday. We'll just have a quick look at the winner of the playoffs. We'll have a look at the other leagues and then that will be the official end of this series. My first ever YouTube Football Manager series. I'll see you then.